Good evening, welcome back to Let's Play The Witcher. When we left off last time, we actually accomplished some things. Hooray! So we completed some quests, and we have quests to turn in. Right now... Oh, come on in, drunkard. How's it going? Have a drink with me. Can I gain more from it? Alright, where's my weak stuff? I was gonna talk to Zoltan because he's in here, but... If there's a drinking contest, we gotta do it. And again. It's okay if we get super drunk. We need to level up anyhow. Are we... Okay, what? One more? Well, we'll finish off our uh, Cadwinian stout. More? I got a lot of this. Ooh, cherry beer. All right. Ooh. So, out drank you. Yeah, we won. Strong head you have there. Don't I get a prize for winning? You already won. Now. We drink for pleasure. What? Fair I only want to drink if I'm getting prizes. Oh, whatever. I wasn't sure if he was the same drunkard or a different one. I should have known. Alright, Zoltan? Geralt! Hey, buddy. I'm super drunk. Um, oh, I found these dice. Tell me about Zoltan, them, please. Zoltan, I found these strange dice. Looks like dwarven handiwork. It's poker with dice. Very entertaining. Requires less attention than cards, but it's just as exciting. Dice are a dwarven invention. Became popular after the war. Not surprising, given that every mercenary played. So, tell me about it. So how do you play? Play shoot around, I'll show you. Alrighty. Ooh, we can earn money. Place your bat and left click roll dice. Raise your bat and select the dice to roll again. Alrighty, let's see what we can do here. Yeah, okay. Oh, this is roll dice. Oh, I like our dice playing music here. Yeah. Roll. Um. Roll the dice. Oh, there, there, this one. Ah. Oh. Roll them bones. Okay, so, what? He's got one pair, but I got... Oh, I thought I had two pair for some reason. Well, I wouldn't want to... My pair sucks. So... Oh. Yeah, I know I lose, but... I don't know, could I have one if I kept going? How many rolls you get? Just the one? Oh, you get to... Okay. What? How did it... Ah, uh, ah. Uh. You just roll them all. Okay. So I have a really crappy pair. No, I got two pair. Um, okay. Uh, well, I want to keep my pairs. Let's go for full house. Hey, hey! Yeah, think about it, Zoltan. Well, well. Okay, okay, that's not bad. Another round? Another round! Ooh, three of a kind. It's been a while since I've played poker, and I can't remember if two pair is better than three of a kind or not. I think three of a kind wins, doesn't it? Let's go for it. This is foolish of me, but... Uh, okay. Okay. 
Bomber. Wah, wah, wah. Ooh, I lost a lot. Bummer. Alright, anything else, buddy? Don't mind me, I'm just really super drunk here. Geralt! Um, no, that's it. We already talked about all of this. I need to go, Zoltan. We'll talk later. Although, it, he, he'll drink. Will I win something off him if I drink? If I drink more, I'm probably gonna collapse. Alright, let's stumble our way over to this bonfire. Or wait, we can take this one, right? It's all the same? Actually, we need to go outside, too. <laughs> Look at him. He, he's so drunk. Alright, sorry for doing that to you, Geralt. A lot of unnecessary drinking. Oh. Is there anything new on the notice board? No. I think I need that. Stumble towards the bonfire. You can do it, you can do it. It's not that far. It's it's kind of forever if you're drunk, but it's not too terrible. This reminds me of when I, I used to work at a tavern. And um you don't always deal with very drunk people. I mean, the goal is to not let people get drunk, really. Because it can be big trouble if they drink too much at your establishment and then they like try to drive home or something. But um, the place we worked at was an older building and the, <laughs> the restrooms were at the bottom of a steep flight of stairs. It always kind of cracked me up. Like, what a cruel trap for drunks. <laughs> you gotta try to navigate down this stairway. Okay. So then... What do we want to do here? Okay, what's going to happen if I improve art? It's kind of awesome as it is, but... Hmm, chance of stun, that could be good. Angle 90 degrees causes knockdown, not sure what that means. Art level 2. Disarming could be good. Hmm. Extra knockdown? And this needs the silver, so. Yeah. Do I want to do that? I might as well. And then what do we got here? So that student to apprentice. Right click and hold. Yeah, we'll put a little into our ard. Now then. Mm, maybe I should improve here as well. Basically, I want to take everything. Um, what can we do in terms of like herb gathering and such? Monster lore. That could be really good. But we could create oils. And all of that is too high for us right now. Mm. Stamina? Endurance regeneration. Poison resist. Could be good. This might be really good, but I'm not really sure what drawing from the places of power does. So we're going to hold off on it. Um... Well, crap, I want to take everything. Uh, I have nothing in decks. Oh, and this doesn't prove our attack and dodge. That's, that's pretty decent. Fling unlocks the ability to acquire ingredients from monsters. We got that, though, because it's a story ability and it's blue. Um, oh, man. Oh, only active from midnight till dawn. Still, though, requires consumption of a mutagen. Hmm. Errors. Okay, some of these are going to be probably pretty decent to have. We'll go ahead. I don't know. I feel like I'm not really specializing, though. If I take everything, then am I going to end up sort of diluted, you know? I might do better if I just pick a couple things and stick with them. 
We'll see. Alright. At the least, when we're done with this, we shouldn't be drunk anymore, right? Yeah! Okay. Let's try and do some of this the fast way. Okay, so Reverend's way off elsewhere. I don't want to do that right now. And we'll get back to that. Uh, but first, which one was it? Oh, I do need to talk to Heron. Kalkstein. He's the guy I'm looking for. Okay. Where you at? You're like right by where I am, right? Oh, he's inside the inn. I thought he was outside. That's why I went in here. Whatever. We'll get to him. When will Vizima's gates open? Plague and city. To query, huh? I'm forced to sell my goods out here. Yeah, what you got? Bad luck. I can't enter the city either. Want to buy something? Maybe. Rob me in broad daylight. Go ahead. What are you peddling? My life. Um. Okay, uh, this is actually making me not want to buy anything from you, but what you got? Oh! <gasps> Recent history. Oh, the Nilfgaardian War, and okay. So this is, oh, I do want all this. This is going to be all of our background. I think I should save my money at this point, but... Oh, what if I can't find him later, though, to buy this stuff? Is this my only shot? History of the world. Vargas, dogs and wolves, what's this? Saracanian alchemy. Oh, that's really super expensive, huh? What's this one? Field plants. Ah, oh, I need this, but it's very expensive as well. Bloodsweeger. Macrophages. Let's see what we got here. Anti-Witcher pamphlet. I don't really need that. Well, I do want all of it just for background, but I can't afford all of this right now, obviously, so... Conjunction of the Seers. Deals with the basics of magic and Witcher signs. Hmm. Do we gain something from that? I wonder. Alright, well, we gotta pick something, so... I think field plants would be really good to have, even though it is very expensive. Yeah. And we'll leave it at that for right now. Okay. Thank you. Kind sir. So. The book describes white myrtle, hellebore, celandine, belis, crow's eye, berber cane, and suets. It also... It also provides information on the obtaining of al on the methods of obtaining alchemical ingredients from these plants. That's really handy. Well, well. Oh, and I got so many journal entries for that. Okay. Well, cool. So when we go outside, we can probably buy a ton of, or not buy, harvest a ton of things now. Nice, nice. Okay, I think that was probably well worth it. Alright, do we want to go ahead and take a quick look at everything? Oh my gosh, there's so many things. Okay. Abomination lymph. Obtained from the bodies of fleeters, scimitars, garcanes, ghouls, alps, bruxae, and bloodsweakers. And I can tell you right now, I apologize in advance, I'm going to probably mispronounce just a ton of words in here. The only languages I really have any experiences with is I, I took some Spanish in high school and I had like one semester of Japanese in college. And those are very phonetic languages. Things that aren't especially basic, easy pronunciations, trickier stuff like, you know, are we like this blood zigwars or whatever here? Yeah, I, I'm going to say it badly. So apologies if I'm pronouncing these in a way that kind of drags across your ears and makes you wince. Okay, so... Belize fruit. Edible fruit characterized by subtle magical resonance. Burby cane. Tart and juicy, often used by witches. And what do they use it for? Cadaverine. 
obtained from the bodies of drowned dead, devourers, drowners, algals, and graviers. Calcium equum, popular mineral, commonly referred to as horse lime. Celandine, common plant with medicinal properties. Crow's eye is the root of a cypress-like bush. Drowner's brain, you get from drowner carcasses, that makes sense. Ectoplasm, obtained from the bodies of ifrit, spargus, specters, or it might actually be supposed to be a freet, I think. I could be wrong. Noon wraiths and night wraiths. Frightener's claw, from a frightener. Dead of the eye. Ghoul blood, from ghouls. Uh, hellebore petals. Flower petals of a common field plant. Hydrogenum. Indicated in silver is a basic alchemical substance. It is present in many ingredients, including herbs, minerals, and monster parts. Oh, here's a... Cabrith. Indicated in yellow is a basic alchemical substance. Present many ingredients, including herbs, but okay. Rebus is the same thing, right? Yep, it's green. Special ingredients. Mutagenic witcher's potions require special ingredients obtained from rare monsters. These ingredients can contain unique combinations of substances and thus cannot be replaced by any others. Vermilion, indicated in orange. Another basic one. Vitriol as well, it's blue. White myrtle, that was one of the ones we just got. Petals of a common field plant with big white flowers. Oh my gosh, the next time we step outside, we're going to be able to get so many things that we couldn't before. Instead of unknown herb, they're going to have names. Excellent. Okay, so where's this guy we're after? Is he... I was not thinking he was actually in here. Maybe he is, but... Everything was better before the new star He's not going to be shiny. And I do remember who she is now, since I finished the third book. She was in there. Although, I wonder if there's more that happened with her in books after. We're learning now. I'm just starting the fourth. Okay, I talked to the innkeeper. I dropped off a bunch of crap. So there's more space in my inventory now. No, he's not... I don't think he's in... Where did I see this guy? Dang it. Ouch. Back here? No, because I couldn't get back here. He's not in here. What? Alright, let's get out of here. He's somewhere near here. Mm, I don't know, it looks an awful lot like... Look at all that white myrtle showing up. Be, I'll be able to get all this stuff. Army life, stop. Be alert. <laughs> da, 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 da. No, he's definitely in the freaking inn somewhere. Where is this guy? Mostly I'm irritated at myself because I should remember this, but it's been a little bit since I was in the inn. And... There's nothing to be gained from you, right? Yes. Yeah. Farewell. Nothing. Ah, this fella. He should be like right here, according to the map marker. When will Vizima's gates open? Plague and city mix poorly. How long must I wait? They'll open when hmm. the plague ends. A week, a month. Alright, we'll ah. find him later, but... I don't worry about that on my own. We got other quests to worry about, too. I think I had a couple things for him, though, didn't I? Yeah, loot. Where are you, Kalkstein? Mm. Alright, you know what? Let's talk to Abigail, because we've not done that yet. So if I go out and then this way, we'll find her. Blacksmith. Who's this? Greetings. 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 Yes, I'm a dwarf. No, I don't support the Skyatel. Yes, I've paid both taxes and bribes many times. 
Today, in fact. Calm down, I just wanted to talk. I'll be calm in my grave. Optimistically, that won't be long now. I'll try not to miss the funeral. Make sure and show up for the execution, too. They once herded me off to see a non-human get hanged. Let me tell That's you, horrible. I laughed my head off. I gather they don't like non-humans around here. Neither here nor anywhere in the Northern Kingdoms. An official in Vizima recently won an innovation award. Invented a gallows especially designed for dwarves. What's so innovative about that? Nothing. But think of the savings. When you're producing them in the hundreds, all that extra wood can be used to make other goods. Toy swords, for instance. Can I ask you something? Yes. All right, here we go. His voice, he sounds a lot like Scrooge McDuck. Um, well, I know who they are, but tell me about who it. Who are the Scoia'tael? Terrorists, or firebrands, you'd call them. They're fighting for the rights of non-humans. Scoia'tael is elven for squirrels, called that due to the squirrel tails that dangle from their caps. So, yeah, I actually am very interested in the answers to both of these questions. Do you trade with them? Fuck off. You won't provoke me. <laughs> I'm not trying to. I'm asking uh, honestly. Terrible times. We're not done. Shove off, troublemaker. No, I'm... I want to... Shove off, Dang it. I want to I wanna buy something from you. I was trying to Shove make off, conversation. Troublemaker. Army life's tough. I'm just infuriating people everywhere I go. I... Shove off, troublemaker. Mmm. Well, that sucks. <laughs> Darn it. Let's get some uh, white myrtle at any rate. Where is it? There we are. Yeah. I wanted to sell him my axe and see if he has a silver sword for me. But... Oh well. Ooh, let's get some police. Oh, right by Abigail. That's handy. Okay. Uh, where is this one? There it is. Okay, yeah, it did say fruit, so that makes sense. Excellent. All kinds of ingredients. Now then. What's this, though? Oh, it's deer skulls. <laughs> Alright, then. Greetings, Miss Witch. How goes it? Oh my, a witcher. Welcome. Thank you. What happened to the man outside? It was his own fault. Many come to me with pitiful fantasies I disdain to fulfill. They take me for a whore when I am but a witch. I'll remember that. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not all bad. The sinner will recover. Okay, but... What do you want? Well, I found your notice. I found your notice. Excellent. Do you have the Bargast skull? I do. I do. They're yours, for a price. I knew you'd manage it. And take this mandrake root. You might find it useful. Alrighty. Ooh, I do want to know what you sell, but first, let's chit-chat. Can I ask you something? If you must. Hmm. Do you have any magic against phantom hounds? What about your sword? I heard witchers carry two. A silver blade for monsters, and steel for humans. Both are for monsters. Yes. Unfortunately, I lack the silver one. I know of an ointment. When it coats your blade, you'll cause grievous harm even to specters. The formula will cost you 30 orans. <sighs> well, I mean, it's just, the, the other... The book we were going to get from the guy was, what, like 200? So, okay. Yeah, I guess we got her. You'll need nasen salt. Gnatsid's acid, wine stone, and lard. I can sell you these ingredients. Thanks. You can replace the nasen salt with hellebore petals if you wish. I think I do wish, because I don't know where I'm going to get nasen salt. Uh, I want to ask you something else. If you must. So. I see you took Alvin in. Thank you for Did that. Did you think I'd abandon an orphan? Besides, he has potential. What do you mean? He's he going to be a powers wizard? perhaps beyond his control. For now... He sleeps well with the herbs I brew him. 
That's good of you. Few in these times would be willing. It's another mouth to feed. With winter approaching, if I grow hungry, I'll eat him. <laughs> yeah. Doubtless the villagers think so, believing me a monster. Are you one, Abigail? We all hide a monster inside us. Alright, so... What you got to... Oh my gosh, she's got a ton of stuff. Uh... Yeah, none of it cheap. I already read this, so that's not the one I need. Hmm. All right, I don't think we're actually going to need any of it. Well, I mean, we'll probably need some of this, but I don't want to buy it right now because it's expensive. All right, Alvin, how are you getting on with uh, Abigail really here? You're really brave. Why, thank you. Flint's useful. What's in the crate? Nice juicy pear, some grapes. What else we got in here? I wonder what this man-shaped doll is for. Hmm, a man-shaped doll of oakum and wax. I wonder what the witch uses it for. That's all we got to say about that? I wonder if there's another quest that'll involve it, because it looks like it's interactable. Alright, laundry basket. We're really gonna steal our shawl. Yes, because I could maybe sell it. <laughs> kind of crappy. I just stole the witch's shawl. Uh, ooh, oh, and the, there we go. An invitation to magic. Good thing we didn't buy it. Let's see what it gives us. Annabelle Radfind. Magic is an incarnation of chaos, a key which opens forbidden doors to nightmares, to the powers of pure evil capable of annihilating the entire world. Do you not fear magic? Do you still want to tame it, to wield it? Know then that magic is a talent given only to a chosen few. Have you found this talent within you? Do you want to tap into this source? Know then that years of intensive study await you. You must gain extensive knowledge and constantly sharpen your mind. Creative magic is not witcher signs and parlor tricks. Magic is an art. Yes, I know. So much disdain the wizards have for the witcher signs. Hey, they're still effective. Once you learn to control the art, you will gain power over fire, water, earth, and air. Power over people's minds, power over yourself. Well, in addition to being chaos and art, magic is also... I just read this. What did Yennefer say? Was it a science? Something along those lines. Obviously, I wasn't paying as good of attention as I should have been if I'd forgotten already, but okay. And so... Oh, oh, close it. Okay. Well, we'll come to that later. Let's try to actually get some things done. And we're done with Abigail now. So, what shall we do next? Quests. Well, I do really want to do that, but it's got to wait a minute. Okay, let's... Yeah, we'll go with Heron first. And then we'll take care of the rest after that. So... Pretty sure I can't just cut across here. That would be really nice. We're gonna have to loop around one way or the other. It's gonna be faster. Hmm. We'll figure it out. Yeah, there's all this fencing in the way. I can't just cut across the field. No matter how much I want to. We'll go this way, because we're already facing there. Well, this is a lovely day to be out and about, huh? Well, let's grab some of our new herbs on the way, since we can. You terrified me, monkey thing. What? What are you? still following me? Oh my god, it's following me. What is it? What are you? 
I, it doesn't look like I can do anything with it. It's just there. Maybe it's someone's pet. Maybe I'll get a quest. I lost my vaguely cute, vaguely horrifying creature. Can you go find it? Alright, I might be going the wrong way because I was really excited about the heliport. So, let's check the map again. Where am I at? Ah, this will do. Bah! Another one! It's not the same one, is it? Maybe it's the same one and it's just followed me that far. Oop! Thumb slipped. I meant to hit alt. See all my stuff. Burby came! Come here. No, not the selling. Well, we'll take it, but I'm trying to get this one. There we go. We gotta hit it at the the trunk. Monkey give up? It did. Okay. Okay, we'll just leave this for now. It'll be okay. Oh, Heron, I need to consult with you. That's right, this is your house. Excuse me, excuse me. So then. Witcher! Yeah? I killed the drowners, and there were some elves there, too. I killed the drowners and encountered elves. E elves I don't believe I know any e elves they were expecting you. Who are they? Skoyatel. Uh -huh. Squirrels. Young non-humans. Freedom fighters. Those who did deal with them are hanged. B betray me and y'all hang too. You don't need to threaten me. Quiet. If it's dangerous, why do you trade with them? I have to make a l l living somehow. Either way, I did my job. My crates are s safe then. Mm -hmm. I underestimated you, Witcher. Incidentally, what ha happened to the elves? We spoke. They said their entire unit would come back for the rest of the crates. Are they m mad? D dangerous for them to come so close to Vizima. If someone were to report it. Meaning? Skoyatel heads f fetch a high price, Witcher. But b best forget you know that. No business of mine. Yeah, I just want to be paid. I want my payment. Then you can tell me about Salamandra. Here's your g gold. Salamandra collect tribute from the villagers. Disobey, and they s slit your throat, set your house ablaze. Where can I find them? Yeah, I want to take Ask care of them. Re Reverend, he'll decide what you should know, but I wouldn't mind them gone. Oh, I'll get them Farewell. gone. Uh, is there anything else we can just chit-chat about? Ooh, another level. Ooh, and 200. Nice. Okay. Witcher! So, anything else? Any other work for a witcher? Hmm, I c c could probably find something. I need a parcel delivered to Vizima, to a man named Coleman at the Hairy Bear Tavern. No questions asked. Hmm, I'm not really an errand boy. Ah, see, this is tricky. Lavinia the player, I definitely want to do this, because I'll get paid for it, and because it might open up other interesting quests, and I just like doing quests. But from reading the books, I don't think Geralt would do it. I think he'd all be would be about that. I'm not your errand boy. He's a witcher. That's what he does. He doesn't get involved in other pe well. He tries not to get involved in other people's problems. He doesn't want to take sides. He just wants to focus on being a witcher and that's it. I think he would say no. But on the off chance that doing this allows us to maybe get some more quests from perhaps Coleman. 
We'll try it. Give me the package. I'll drop it off. C Coleman will pay you. He better. Farewell. What's in your wardrobe? <gasps> Against non-humans. See? Oh, another thing we could have bought, but instead. There it is. Pamphlet describing the great conspiracy of the non-humans and their schemes over the centuries. Contains many lies, but simultaneously provides some useful information on the elder races. It was then that the elven wise men, called the sages, gathered in the dungeons beneath Reinhold Castle. The eldest of them said, The day and the hour have come. We are here to discuss the fall of humans. We will avenge the death of Lara Doran. We will shed their blood and drown the world in chaos. I clicked weird and I lost my spot. Okay. We will hide in the forest for 500 years while the Chosen live in human cities and become their neighbors. This is not what the elves plan to do at all. This is such ridiculous propaganda. Everyone knows their place in the plan, whether elf, dwarf, gnome, sorcerer, or nilf guardian. Sorcerers included in this as well, eh? Whoever betrays us is doomed. We will call ourselves superiors, because we have no lords over us and we spit on gods. Then all swore an oath, and each drank the blood of an innocent child from a golden chalice to seal their obedience to the plan. Yeah, that sounds like a very truthful book. Come on. People have to be stupid to kind of be to believe that sort of thing, but... Undoubtedly, some do. Alright. Let's also, you know, just... There we go. Keep things tidy. Looks nice that way. Much better. Okay. So then... What do we want to do... Now... got a parcel to deliver, but it's going to be a, mi a bit before we can get into the Zima, so shelve that. Uh, yeah, let's go to the Reverend now. That's the next thing we want to do. So, we can just continue along the path. We'll be there in no time. Do, 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 do. Anything else to grab in here? What's in your cupboard? So, basically, I really... Raspberry juice. Ooh. Need to be sure to just loot absolutely everything because we're finding some pretty valuable stuff in people's cupboards and such i wonder if i could have found that herb book somewhere instead of buying it i bet i could have if i'd been a little more patient all right excuse me beggars and brawlers i just need to get through here i know i gained a level i should take my level but i really just want to get to the reverend right now You should be ashamed, not rain. That's not how it happens at all. Oh, where'd that poor girl go? I was gonna talk to her. Alright, let's just talk to the Reverend. Alright, you. Speak quickly. So. I carried the eternal fire to all the chapels. The beasts still haunt us! Yeah, I know. I told you it wouldn't work. Where's my payment? Ah, yes, your payment. The curse must be stronger than I thought. Doubtless caused by that witch, Abigail. An evil woman. Probably not anything to do with her, but, uh, Maybe she can payment? tell us more. She brought the beast and all other calamities upon us. Seems perhaps. unlikely. But I'd rather speak with her first. We must know from whence the beast came. Learn the truth. Okay, but payment. I will, for 300 orins. Our community's poor. Perhaps 200? So be it. Okay, there, I was gonna say, what about payment for what I did already? But he gave it, so. Alright, back to Abigail, you say. Should I speak to any more of you? I'm wondering why some people are blue and some are green. Come here. Come here. You're it. 
that's not useful. I'm dying of boredom. Someone send you to see Odo. Someone that wealthy yes. has it in badly. Many animals died from plague. I wonder how I'll feed my children. No time! How about... If I give you... Where's a shawl? We'll give her a shawl. Okay, we'll just... Yeah. What was that supposed to mean? It's to help keep you warm, Granny. Okay, fine. Many animals. I just want to see if you have any more beneficial stories to tell me. Okay, left click bribe and dialogues to set an amount and attempt to bribe characters. What am I bribing her for? I mean, I guess information, but I was just going to be generous to help out. Okay, you can have 20. I only know old fables. It better not be one I already heard. I gladly hear them. Have you heard of Fledders? Tell me about them. When criminals and godless die, they arise as Fledders or vampires. They burrow from their graves, suck blood from the living. Those bitten also become vampires and further spread the disease. To destroy one, you must drive a wooden stake through its heart and decapitate it. Great story. But if vampires multiplied as you describe, they'd quickly control the world. Smart ass, eh? <laughs> Damn you. Don't get so upset. You still got your 20 orins. Which is kind of a lot to pay for the story, but... That's what I get. Alright, do I need to take off? I can probably leave some of this now. I got a bit of... A fair amount of all of it, right? So then... Da, 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 da. I'm trekking along in the big old circle. Back to Abigail. Happens to us all, buddy. Out of the pan into the oven, then the Oops, I did not mean to push that old lady. I feel kind of bad about that. Or the girl. <laughs> Anyone he's too close to. Get out of here. <laughs> Alright, well, oh, there's that thing again. Royal Huntsman, what are you up to out here? Greetings, Witcher. I'm the local hunter. Greetings. Wonder how I know you? No? So be it. What do you want? Uh, how do you know me? I'm looking for Witcher's work. Since you're here, a monster supposedly haunts the lake shore, devouring peasants late getting home. The a ghoul dead. may have made its lair in the crypt. Oh, our ghoul. How much for each? You oh. witches do nothing disinterestedly. Kill a monster, bring me proof, and I'll reward you generously. Alrighty, so. Did the peasants say anything more about the lakeshore monster? Just that it hunts by the lake at night and kills people. Alrighty. What does the creature from the crypt look like? A ghoul? Perhaps a standard ghoul, but who knows? See for yourself. There's actually a bunch of ghouls in there. So... How much do you collect for a drowner? It's my professional secret. Come on, we're in the same profession. It seems so. So, how much for a drowner? Depends, but on average, 80 orins. I've never come close to that. I knew something was wrong with those prices. Calm down. Progress wherever you look. Only witchers, the relics they are, still work for a pittance while being called freaks by those they do favors for. A fair day's wage for a fair day's work. That's what not what that? I get, though. Nothing, nothing. We witchers do good work. We're specifically trained to do this. Take care. Good day to you, sir. Alright. I 
uh, 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 over here. There we go. So, Miss Abigail. What do you want? Well, I need to know some more about you. Um, rather than coming out with this one, which sounds highly accusatory, we're going to let her know the Reverend thinks that it's something to do with her. I don't necessarily think that, Abigail. I'm just letting you know. The Reverend believes you summoned the beast. And what do you believe? Don't know yet. yet. What's your side of the story? <laughs> I had nothing to do with it. I need to know where the beast came from. Why ask me? Aren't witches wise in the ways of magic? Yes, but this beast is beyond me. Although, I know someone else. Who? Who would that be? The boy Alvin. He's a strong source and a diviner. What he knows we could not hope to imagine. However, if I were to give him a certain potion... Would that be safe for him? him? No need to fret, he'll be fine. Bring me the petals of five white myrtle and your questions will be answered. Myrtle grows outside the village. If you lack knowledge of herbs, I have this book. It's yours, for a price. All right. Do I have five? I think I have five. Yeah, I should see the witch again. What do you want? So about that myrtle. I gathered the myrtle petals. Excellent. Now to prepare the potion. How is it made? Interested in witch's secrets, are you? Well? The recipe is yours if you swear to take it to your grave. Done. I swear. Draw close and listen. Blend two ounces of cadaverin with the myrtle petals. Speak your name backwards, turn about three times leftwards, spit into the fire and stir the potion again. Complicated. <laughs> she made that up, I didn't she? I knew witch's magic would be beyond the mind of a man. Grant me a moment to finish the potion. See you later. I have a feeling, Abigail, you're just messing with me. I'm going to be a witcher, too. Yeah? More likely, kiddo, you're going to be a sorcerer. But that's fine. Alright, let's step out. And then try stepping back in to see if she's ready. <laughs> Done? What do you want? The potion. Is the potion ready? Yes. Alvin, drink this. Tastes bitter. No complaining. Now, speak. Abigail, I'm afraid. Why'd they skin the puppy? What? Why'd they hurt him? He was gentle. He hurt no one. And the girl from outside the village, she screamed horribly. Unlike any human. Bad children, torturing the witch's puppy again. Innocent blood. Evil faces twisted by drink and desire. Plow her well. Show her you're a man. Bloodstained gold. The beast is born! Well. Death. The final judgment. The beast has met its end once. It doesn't fear death. It is death. How will you defeat human villainy? With your sword? You who died and still walk amongst the living. Who has summoned me? Enough. This could end badly. Uh, yeah. Abigail, break the trance. As you wish. By the power of the seven spheres, leave this body. I compel you. Be gone. Oh, I'm sleepy. Mm. Alvin, go to bed. Geralt, another witch, hey, hey. Berengar, preceded you. He left these missives. Thanks. Farewell. Okay, so it's sounding... Hellhound soul. Yeah, tell the Reverend what I've learned. What I've learned is that it's sounding an awful lot. It's like it's the villager, someone in the village's own fault that this beast is here. Because they were being horrible. Alright then. <laughs> I kind of wish if I have to go back and forth so much that there was a little less running in between, but that's fine. Let's go back down this way again. That's probably the same either way, right? Okay, I also want to take a look at the stuff that we just got. That's going to be in my inventory, isn't it? Berengar's missives. Hmm. So? 
Oh, potion grants one silver talent when consumed. Oh my goodness. That's... That's pretty good. Oh, let's restack this stuff. Since the old woman didn't want the shawl. Now then... Quest item? Yes. Erangar's notes on the beast. Hastily written document, probably drafted by the Witcher while he was preparing to fight the beast. First night. 95 kilograms of muscle, height around 4.5 feet, fangs the length of a man's thumb, to be avoided. Shares characteristics with Alzer's demon. Second night. Summons Bargas with its howling, has the ability to disappear, probably by assuming spectral or spiritual form, can only be seen with the help of a potion. Third night. Highly resistant to iron and signs, walked right over three irritants without noticing. Fourth night. All features of Alzer's demon confirmed. The beast asks a question. Those who answer correctly stand a chance of slaying it. Interesting. Alright then. Well, let's go tell the uh, Reverend about it. hang out all day when there's all these horrible creatures about like aren't you terrified i would be oh i should probably restock some of this there's you again i have no work for you all righty I just wanted to be pleasant, talk to you a little bit. Alright. Boy, there's a ton of you right over here, huh? How oh, much longer? They aim to steal our men. What Who do? In horse. I hope we meet again. Leave us be. Oh, I just was wondering what you were talking about. Later. What brazen whores are trying to steal your men, eh? Daddy will buy me a new doll. You alright there, buddy? Should I hurry? You're just you're doing some swaying. It's got me concerned. All right, news. Speak quickly. Well, I know where the beast comes from. Was it summoned by the witch? Mm -mm. The beast appeared because of human wickedness. To slay it, I'll need to identify the guilty. There may be wisdom in your words. When sheep run astray. The good shepherd must bring them back onto the righteous path. Otherwise they fall prey to wolves. I'll learn all I can to defeat the beast. I must gather all the villagers. Here's your prize, Witcher. Two hundred arms. Okay, well at this point, um... No, not just sell a much. I, I want to actually help you, buddy. Like, can, can I help you take care of the beast problem? I want to ensure this actually gets done. I want to enter the city, but I need a letter, a pass of some sort. Only Knights of the Order hold passes. But as chaplain, I have one. May I have it? You, a stranger, a drifter, have you lost your I mind? I helped you a bunch. Come on. Speak quickly. Are you a chaplain of the Eternal Fire? Yes, heathen. <laughs> Only the Eternal Fire can save us from the White Frost. Really? So says the prophecy of Ithlene, the elven witch. 
Is that so? The old world will die, to be born again from a seed that will not sprout, but burst into flames. You seem to contradict yourself. You mock me, Witcher. All right, we told we talked about this before. I Fine. apologize, Reverend. Whosoever blasphemes this. Eh. One more thing. I don't Speak think there's quickly. anything else, though. No, we're done. I'll see you later. Well, but I wanna, I wanna make sure that they do something about. The what are you doing over here? The Reverend looks after me now. I thought Abigail was Are looking after you. The Reverend plucked me from a witch's claws. Claws? That's what he says. <gasps> Do you like living here? It's my chance to become a decent man. I'll keep my fingers crossed, kid. No, he needs to be with the witch. If he's a source, then he killed. needs magical training. My old bone. Did he do something terrible to Abigail? Hmm. I'm very concerned about this. Okay, well. How could she have treated me that way? I think I'm gonna go ahead and wind the episode down here. Please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. Come back and next time I will meet you at Abigail's hut. I want to check back with her. I'm really worried that he's not going to actually take care of this hellhound as he said he would. Maybe he's part of what brought it in the first place? Because if Elvin's here all of a sudden, it sounds like he's not following up on things and actually getting rid of it. I'm very suspicious of our reverend for this.